How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the song length and change the bar numbers in Reaper. I have a project that I'm working on, and it's important to me that I know the song length. Maybe it's a commercial, has to be 30 seconds or 15 seconds, but I need to know the song length while I'm working on the project so I can make adjustments along the way. Now, the problem with this is that this particular song starts on an upbeat, like this. It has a pickup, so I can't start it at bar one. So if you look down here at a transport, the song actually starts at about two seconds. So if I go to the end of the song, to find the project length, it stops around here, it's set to 26 seconds, which is not really accurate because those two seconds in the beginning are going to throw it off. So we can fix that using this trick. Now there's another reason you want to do this. Let's say you're mixing this for a client and they have some mix changes based on time. Maybe they want us to change something at 11 seconds or 30 seconds. And if we bounce it right from the beginning right here, the times that they have aren't going to line up with our times in our project. But like I said, we can change that. But let's first go to View. And let's open up the big clock. This way we can see right down here the time we're working with. It's a bit bigger. And we can change it for measures and beats or time. But let's start with time first. Now let's go to our project settings. If we go to File, right here is our project settings. But we could also open it up on the toolbar, right here. Just click that, and our project settings opens up. Now the first tab is what we're going to use, and we'll go down here to Project Start Time. By default, it's set to zero. So the beginning of the project, or bar one, is set to zero. So if we go to the beginning of our project, right here, it's set to zero, but we want to change that to where the song actually starts. So what we want to do is zoom in real close to the first hit, right about there, then open it back up and choose the option right next to it. Set zero to edit cursor, which is where we set it right here, the edit cursor. So if we choose this option right here, it's going to reset our project start time to a negative number. In this case, about negative two seconds, which is going to adjust for everything over here. So now if we go to the beginning, our time is a negative number. But now it's going to start right at zero, right here. So now if we want to know the song length, just go to the end, right about here, and it's 24 seconds, or a little bit longer. But it's now perfectly aligned with where the song really starts. It's a lot more accurate and more useful. And if a client calls and has a question or a mix change at 11 seconds, we can just double click right here. Type in 11 seconds, zero minutes, and 11 seconds. And this is the exact spot that we need to adjust. Or 15 seconds. All those times are now going to line up with our client, making communication a lot better. Now, the next thing we want to do is change the bars. Like I said, this song is starting at bar two. And to be honest, I rarely start a song on bar one because I want to lead in, or maybe an intro. So I usually leave a bar or two before the song actually starts. But that's going to throw our bar numbers off. Bar two should really be bar one. But luckily, 
you can change that also. Go to the project settings, and right down here is our project start measure. We could offset this to make up that difference. I'm starting on bar two, so let's move this back a bar to zero. Hit OK, and now our song starts at bar one. If we go to the beginning, it's actually bar zero. As you can see right here, and then the song starts right on bar one. Now if you wanted more bars as an intro, let's put it back to one. Let's move this a few bars over, put it over to here. It's now starting on bar three. We can readjust it for bar three. Instead of setting this to one, we could set it to negative one. And now if we go to the beginning, it starts at bar negative one, goes to zero, and then our song starts at bar one. That's a lot more useful than having our bar numbers be off. And it's also useful if someone's asking to jump to the fifth bar. That's more accurate for our song. Or if you want to know how many bars are in the song, just go to the end, and it stops at bar nine. And again, because we changed it in the project settings, that number is accurate. So our time and our bars are accurate to what our final result is gonna be. So that's pretty much it. That's finding the song length and changing the bar numbers in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!